What's up guys, Natal Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of Earthbound Halloween Hack. In the last episode, we went through the factory, and uh, we saved Pooh, and then uh, we also went through the Sea of Eve to get to uh, here, which is, uh, I guess, the phase disorder area. And um, I did do a lot of stuff off screen. Um, I leveled up everyone by a significant amount of levels. Therix now level 16, where he used to be level 14. Paul's now level 14. Jeff's 18. And Puda's 17. So, got a pretty good uh, amount of level ups off screen. So, uh, yeah. And then off screen, I also did skip a little bit of the uh, area. Just because um, I did go through the area myself, just because um, there are a lot of enemies, and you guys probably don't want to see me just attack a bunch of enemies. And, um, okay, seriously? Of course, when I'm recording, we get a uh, KO by Paula. But, I mean, we can go revive her. But it'll cost a significant amount of uh, PP from Varric. But yeah, I think this might be the finale. You guys will know. I don't. Um, I'm going to see right now if I can go to the final boss and beat him. But yeah, we are very close to uh, being the final boss. And I know that Halloween was yesterday. But for me, Halloween's actually today. Because um, I usually pre-record stuff. Um, a day earlier, so, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna use Clint's Gamma on Paula. That will not revive her. Okay, great. Um, I can't do anything else, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I can, uh... There's no reviving items in this game. Yeah, so, she's basically dead right now. Um, I mean, I guess I could give, uh, PSI Caramel, but I might do it late. Actually, you know what? I guess I'll try it out. Actually, no, nah, I'm not gonna. Alright, so we got this guy right here. I'm gonna go fight him. Alright, so bash, shoot, and then freeze. Hopefully he solidifies. Nice, okay. I mean, Paula's not really that big of a help anyway. She does have a good uh, amount of PSI powers, but right now it's not really that useful. Alright, so we went right there, gained some experience, got a cocoon pizza. And I'm going to try again to revive uh, Paula, this time with Pooh. Hopefully it works. Please, thank you. Okay. I'm gonna go save right here. And, um, I'm also gonna use a, uh, cocoon pizza. Just to go heal everyone. Heal Varric, heal Paula, and heal Pooh. Alright, so Varric's not at maximum HP, but, um, he's very close to it. So yeah, um, you guys might know this uh, part, it's from uh, Earthbound, and uh, yeah, it's the part where Ness faces his nightmare, but here we're facing uh, Dr. Ant Donuts, and right here we got the am am Amagamate, I, I, I don't know what that is, but it says I'm old, so... I'm guessing it's an old reference to something. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, Varric, I guess just go bash. Paula, let's go ahead and use PK Freeze Beta. Uh, Jeff, go ahead and shoot. And then, I'm tempted to use Mirror, but um, I kind of forget what moves he has. I think he has PSI Rocking. But um, hopefully I'm wrong. So I'm going to go bash. Okay, killed our teddy bear right there, so not really that bad, I guess. 
Alright, sadly the PK freeze, it, even though it did do a lot of damage, it didn't um, solidify him. Which is kind of annoying, but I think he's almost dead. Hopefully. Yep, okay. So we won right there. Gained a good amount of experience, but sadly no one leveled up because we're pretty uh, high leveled right here. Because like when I played this game, um, I was at like level 14 with Varric, so yeah, and right now I'm at level, what is it, level 16 with Varric now, yeah, so yeah, um, the first time I played this I actually tried so hard to dodge these guys because I guess I was like so under leveled, so like I went like behind here, got him stuck over there, and then I went around, and then I tried to like dodge him so hard, like, you guys don't know how much I tried to dodge these guys. Alright, so I'm gonna go right here. Hopefully he doesn't notice me. Okay, I'm gonna go... Nope. Alright, nice. Uh, go, 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 go. Nope. Ah, uh, he noticed me. But you can't get a back attack from those guys because they count as a boss. Just like in the Earthbound. I'm gonna try PK Freeze Beta. Okay, so he does no PSI rocking. That kind of sucks. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use a uh, Cocoon Pizza here to go heal everyone. All right. Um. I'm actually gonna use it for uh. Maybe. Wait. Does Pooh have it? Let's see. Okay, it does have a Cocoon Pizza, and he's the fastest, so I'm gonna use it on him. Of course, of course he numbs Pooh. The one person that's going to heal everyone gets numb. Of course. That's just my luck. Like, seriously, that's so stupid. Okay, um, I guess we're going to use Jeff. But I think he's going to die before he can even use it, which is just so stupid. Are you kidding me? Oh, and now he's dead. I, I, I can't believe what I'm seeing right here. I seriously can't. First, I... Oh my god. That is just so stupid. First, they... They're, Pooh gets numb. The person that's going to heal everyone. And then... He uses PSI rocking that hits everyone. And then Varric kills him afterwards. Like, are you kidding me? That's the worst luck. I've ever seen in Earthbound. Even though this isn't Earthbound, this is a Halloween hack. Um, but still, it's ridiculous. Alright, well, we got here. We're having leftovers for dinner tonight. Oh, wait, didn't need to tell you that. Giggle kiss. Okay, so, like, unlike, uh, Earthbound where you fight Ness's nightmare, you meet up with Jeff's mom or Dr. Internet's wife, and then she tells you that, and then you go here. It's really confusing, but yeah. Anyway, um, I think this woman right here heals us, or no? What'd she say? Hey, cutie. Barrick, I hope you remember me. Wouldn't it be nice to go on a date sometime? Come back to us. We all miss you. Use a portal in the middle of the town. Uh, maybe not right now. Varric, come back. This monster stuff is absurd. It's even okay if you barf on the customers. Okay, I guess that's my boss. Alright, we can go save here. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, then let's go talk to this guy. Barrick, if you want to go past this point, I'm not going to stop you. But you might not like what you see. Barrick, you know you don't have to fight. You have a choice. Come back to Tucson. We all love you there. Just use the portal in the middle of town and forget about what you've been, what you're doing. So I guess this is like, um, Toby Fox's like, inspiration stuff that... Like, you could 
either choose to fight or you can just leave. Where it's like the pacifist route for um for uh, uh Undertale. I was got to say. Beric, I want you to know that I'm very proud of you. You're a true hero. Go get that monster. Okay, so some people are like saying go get the monster, but other people are just like saying to come back to Tucson. Alright, I guess we'll go uh, withdraw some money. We got a lot of money, actually. Um, let's see what we can buy from this guy. Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I've got what you need. Alright, so we got brain food lunch, wine pizza, fire pennant, H2O pennant, power sphere, and psycho sphere, and horn of light. Okay, so the horn of light is actually the best because that revives someone. So I'm going to go buy a few of those. By a few, I mean like six. Um, so I'm going to use the two that um, Varric's going to hold right now. And then the other four is going to be held by each one of my party members. Or maybe I'll just give it to Pooh. Just to not waste time and stuff. Okay, so, no, I don't want to buy it. Oh, I'm so trigger happy. <laughs> okay, so buy. Buy Horn of Light. Alright, one more. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now I'm going to go to Goods, Poo, Horn of Light. Oh, wait, Poo's numb. Okay, it's kind of stupid, but whatever. I guess I'll have to use it from Varric. Alright, so he's going to use the Horn of Light on Paula. Paula gets revived. And then we're going to use it on Jeff. And then Jeff gets revived. And um, I think I'm going to give the two Horn of Lights to uh, Varric. Alright, so we're gonna give this one to Varric. And then, um. I don't really wanna. I don't wanna test it out, but let's just see what this portal will do. Nothing. Alright, so why did they tell you to go back to Tucson with this portal in the middle of the town? But yet, yeah, it does absolutely nothing. It's kinda stupid. And then right there, I guess, brings us back to Magic Camp, but we don't want that. Alright, I'm right. I think there's a healing device here somewhere, like a revitalizing device. But I guess not. I remember there being one though. Okay then. Uh. I think bottle of water will, um. I keep forgetting that Poo's numb. Um, can we use Clunch Beta on um, Poo? Okay, he's still numb. I don't know how to heal that, but, uh... That's really stupid. Okay, um... I think you need to have, you need to have, like, uh... Omega. Or not Omega, uh, Gamma. In order for it to work, which is really stupid. Alright, I'm gonna use a Cocoon Pizza. Or maybe two of them. I'm gonna use another one. Actually, no, I'm gonna use a. Let's use a Sky Nectar on Beric. And there we go. Okay, so now everyone's maxed up with HP, but sadly not PP, which is really upsetting. Don't really. I mean, if I go in Magic Cant, I can heal myself, but like. I have to head all the way back again. Maybe there's a secret that I don't know. I mean, I remember this, like, this tree right here I thought was a revitalizing device. I remember it being like that, but I guess not. Alright, um, what I'm gonna do is use a PSI Caramel on Beric. 
And then I'm gonna use another one. And then I'm gonna use Clunts Gamma on Poo. Alright, his numbness is gone. Then I'm gonna use a bottle of water on Paula. Really? Only one PP? For the bo Really? That's so stupid. Only one- She only recovered one PP from that bottle of water. Okay, well, I guess I have to do a lot of work then. So, what I'm gonna do is, when I fight the first phase of the boss, he doesn't actually fight us. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have Paula and Pooh use PSI Magnet constantly to get his their PP back. Which is just going to be really annoying, but it's going to be worth it. Okay, this is the last. As you step between those two trees, the world melts away around you. You're used to this by now, but this time it's different. As you make the step, you hit the ground hard. The world is beating purple and red around you. The ground is made of vile in intestines. You are inside the monster. Your heart is burning, but it does not seem to be beating anymore. Your body is made of metal rubber. Your eyes are black holes. Your arms move robotically heavy. Your legs are pulled forward as if by magnets, but they're still so heavy. You're in a dark vacuum. There is no air and no heat. There's nothing except pulsing, pulsating violet. You are inside the monster. The monster. You are the monster. So, yeah, this is really weird. I don't know why we're Ninten, uh, Anna, Lloyd, and Teddy. And I don't get why we're, like, moving so slowly and why we're all, like, scrunched up together. But, I mean, I like how they uh, chose that, like, art style. I guess, like, to show, like, Mother 1 or something? I really don't know why we're these characters. Like, are they saying that we're the monster? Like, Ness, Paula, and the other ones, and we're fighting them? Or is it that... Ninten, Lloyd... Anna and Teddy are the monsters. Like, it's really weird. I don't really get it. Like, this whole game I don't really get that much, but it's a great hack. Alright, so here we are. This is where Gygus is supposed to be. But instead, we have... Any minute now. Reveal his face. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really know who this is, but I remember it's a uh, some game, and um, it's like a very random occurrence. Like you have to turn on and off the light switch. I don't know if it's a glitch or it's an Easter egg, but like you turn on the on and off switch, and like it's like a one in sixty four chance or something like that for it to happen, and it just appears. And I don't know why it's in this game, but yeah. Beric, are you surprised? It's me, Dr. Ant Donuts. Look at what this world has done to me. Look at me! Ha 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 ha, do you see this? You idiots. Look at your decaying, frostbitten bodies. Beric, do you really think you're a hero? You're not a hero. You kill people for money. Where's the heroism in that? You went into an old man's mind so you could kill him. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. But you won't, Varric. You're going to kill me, because that's what a hero does. He has to kill that monster, right? Varric, even in this form, I'm shaking with fear. I don't want to die. Leave me alone. Go away and leave me alone. Put, put the knife away. You and your pu puny bodies, stay back. You are making this old, this old horrible monster, 
cry. And now we're gonna fight him. Or should I say we're gonna fight the id? So, yeah, this first phase of the boss. I don't know why Dr. Antonis is this disgusting blue monster. Like, how he became like this, but. Yeah, it's just really weird. Anyway, um, like I said before, I'm gonna use a bunch of stuff to, uh. To, in the beginning of the battle just so that I can uh, be prepared for the final phase of the battle so yeah gonna basically I'm just gonna let Pooh or no I'm gonna left le I'm gonna let Jeff shoot and then Pooh Paula will use PSI magnet while Varric uses the planet buster so now what the planet buster will do is it will um it will increase um, a party member's guts by two. Not by two, but like by times two. So Varric will keep doing that, and that's very overpowered. And then, uh, like I said, Paula and Pooh will get their um, PP up. I don't know if Omega's faster or better, but I'm just gonna go with Alpha with PSI Magnet. So yeah, it's kind of annoying that I have to do this, but we don't have any uh, PSI. Um, we don't have any PSI uh, like healing things or like increasing. So yeah. Also, like the the pressing music actually fits very well. And after his first phase, you guys will almost definitely know the theme for the uh, final phase of the boss battle. All right, so now Barrick's guts are at 255. Now that's the maximum he can have it, but I'm gonna uh, do it to everyone. Or at least try to. But yeah, Paul's has the least. I think she has like 16 right now. And then it's going to be increased to 32. After this turn. So, yeah. I mean, I am kind of annoyed that Varric will not have any PP. Or he'll have just 16. Because, um... I'm not going to, like, waste any more time with, uh getting his PP any higher so yeah alright it's kind of annoying you have to like memorize where everything is no I'm not gonna use that on Varric alright so Paul's gonna use PSI Magnet Jeff is gonna shoot who's gonna use PSI Magnet See, I really do like how uh, the fu the first phase of the boss is he just doesn't attack. It really shows that like um, it's very like Undertale where he won't attack you, but you can either decide to mercy him or to uh, kill him. In this case, you don't really have an option, but it's like inspiration for uh, Undertale kind of. Alright, I'm going to keep using it on Paula because Paula's the worst, so, yeah. Alright, so I might do this, like, for a couple more turns. I might not do it, like, fully, but I will try and do my best. Alright, so now let's increase, uh... Jeff's guts. Paula, keep recovering PSI. Jeff, keep shooting. And then, um, Pooh, keep using PSI magnet. And I love how <laughs> Jeff's the only one attacking. And this is his own father. Like, that's just great. 
Okay. Alright, so he's talking about... He wants to scream. How he's, like, become this terrible, terrible monster. And everything. Alright, so now I'm gonna use Plant Buster on Jeff again. PSI Magnet. Shoot. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep doing this for, um, until Jeff kills him. Because right now I'm just gonna... I'm kind of giving us a head start by having Jeff attack him. But, uh, yeah. I don't ha hurt me, I have no weapon. Quit picking on me. That's what he says. Alright, I'm gonna use Planet Buster again. PSI Magnet. Okay. I think Pooh is as maximum PP. Maybe not yet, but he's very close to it. Alright, Jeff's guts are at 80. Gonna use the Planet Buster again. Next turn, I'm gonna use it on Pooh if uh, it doesn't die. Alright, so now is he? Alright, I think. Wow, I didn't notice how uh, much Pooh has a uh, of PP. Alright, so now I'm gonna use the Planet Buster on Pooh. Uh, Paul is gonna keep using PSI Magnet. Jeff's gonna shoot. Pooh's gonna use PSI Magnet. Okay, now he is maxed out. Okay. Oh, okay. It doesn't have any more PP. Okay, so we basically took out his entire uh, psychic power of it. So now he doesn't have any more left. Um, I guess now all we can do is just... We're going to keep using Planet Buster, but then other than that, everyone else just bashed because... We don't have any, uh, he doesn't have any more PP, so there's no use of, uh, using PSI Magnet, because it won't work. So yeah, I mean, this first part of the boss, really all I'm doing is preparing for the, uh, final phase, because the Planet Buster will, uh, increase my, increase everyone's guts by a tremendous amount, and that will, um, that will affect the second phase of the battle, which is the final phase. And I don't really know what Guts does, but I think it uh, increases your chances of getting a smash attack, and also it increases your chances of uh, having like 1 HP left. Alright, so I understand you guys are already claiming to be heroes. You've done a good job. You've slain the monster. I can feel the blood from my brain leaking into the rest of my body. It's warm. It's making me sad. I'm sorry I wasn't much of a fight. It wasn't much. I wasn't much of a fight, Varric. Well, I. Oh, erg. So now it's going to the real phase of the battle. What is this feeling? Ha ha ha. I know what this feeling is. It's hatred for the person who came so far just to destroy an old man my mind is gone all that is left is pure hatred gr 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 no ha 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 people say i can't take what i dish out well okay <laughs> i don't know what that wl was but here we go all right so now poo's uh guts are at a pretty good amount so now I'm gonna uh, prepare for the battle basically um for I don't really know what to use actually I remember using a uh, sleep stun a lot but um, right now I'm just gonna go bash I mean his final phase actually isn't just yet gonna come but it's gonna come very soon um, I'm gonna use PSI. Sh Wait, is there a counter? I think I have a counter. Wait, let me just try this. 
So I just shoot. Wait, what does Poo have? Okay, no, we're gonna use Barrier. Oh, we can't even use Barrier Omega. But we'll use uh, whatever that is. Alright, you see this burning bloody universe? You see the ultimate power? I have fucking had it with your shit. <laughs> you little. Okay, I can't read that fast. But yeah, this is where shit gets real. <laughs> And here comes a song. You guys may know it. It's Megalomania, which is Sans' uh, theme or whatever you want to call it. All right, so now it's where the real battle is about to begin. Right now, I'm just gonna use all I have. And okay, that PSI Lightning Beta just did not hit single time all right so gonna keep bashing I don't really think we need to uh, do anything but yeah oof you your but your attacks are meaningless I am the master of this dimension barrack I'm gonna I can't read that fast <laughs> it's just I love this music and like it's it's not the uh, one that you guys know from uh, Undertale, but it's like more of an 8-bit version. And just like so well. And oh shoot, okay, uh. Shit. There goes Jeff. Okay, um. Uh, yeah, since. Since, um, Jeff has an H2O pennant, really? I just healed him. I literally just revived him. And you just kill him again. Wow. You really hate your son that much, Dr. Ant Donuts? Okay, so let's go revive Pooh. Wow, are you kidding me? Commentary's curse. God. Alright, hopefully we can heal uh, Pooh in time. Nope, we can't. Okay, well, Jeff and Pooh are dead. We really can't do anything to revive him. But, like, you guys are seeing this. Jeff dies from just reviving a few seconds before, and then Pooh dies because he used Flame Omega. Like, what are the chances of that happening again? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Alright, he's gonna use it again. Wow, okay, so it's not just luck that he hit before. Okay, um... We literally have no healing items. Alright, what does uh, Paula have? Paula has something, right? Yeah, okay. Do the brain food lunch. Oh yeah, for, oh man, I forgot the... Uh, that uh, brain food lunch increases PP. That would have helped a lot. Alright, so let's just bash. Paul is gonna use freeze beta. Sadly, Jeff and Pooh are dead forever. Basically. Because I don't have anything to revive them. And, yeah. And I'm guessing Paul is dead too, so yeah. Just Varric versus Dr. Ant Donuts. The true battle. Oh god, okay, um, shit. Well, um. The true battle. Dr. Ant Donuts versus himself. Yeah. Yeah, and just like how Flower. Oh my god. Just like how flowery when you die from the final boss in the in his boss battle and how he goes, um, I think he says ha 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 too. It does the same here. So yeah, really showing his Undertale side right here. Just goes ha ha ha. Y yeah, you can't. You have to reset the game, which I'm not gonna do. I think this is the finale. This really is. Just a Halloween nightmare that 
just have bad luck. And, yeah, I mean, probably if I wasn't recording, it w I w probably would have beaten him, but, you know, every time I record, I usually have bad luck. So, yeah, anyway, that is the Earthbound Halloween hack. Especially towards the end, you can see uh, that Toby Fox's, like, inspiration, or, um, I guess, before Earthbound, or not, before uh, Undertale. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little Let's Play. Um, I know I did, but, yeah, anyway, like I said, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for other things gaming right here on the Tone Neck. Bye.